Okay, can you see my screen and can you hear me? Uh, if you could just type uh, yes in the uh, uh, hashtag advanced dash webinar uh, section. And then we'll get started here. Okay, excellent. All right. So uh, okay, so let's uh, let's get started. Um, all right. Well, welcome to the webinar. Uh, so we've been doing this <clears throat> in Discord here for um, a while now, just uh, like three weeks or so, or maybe this is our third week, uh, something like that. The idea here uh, is uh, was uh, you know during the holidays we thought we'd try this out, uh, and we've continued with it so far. Uh, typically, this is the advanced webinar that uh, you need to subscribe to Global Plus uh, to get, and the whole concept uh, was uh, to to um, kind of filter out uh, people uh, and you know asking coming in and and, and asking uh, uh, you know kind of silly questions about stuff, and, and you know people were there and for their education and they were serious about it, uh, and that's why we kind of separated separated it out. Uh, and uh, if you have book map, you're going to be a lot more serious about it than if you don't have book map. So uh, right now it's free and open to all uh, these um, advanced uh, webinars here. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, we will um, uh, continue to experiment here in Discord and see how this goes. The um, uh, education that you get with book map when you subscribe, I, I want to just go through that so you're aware of it. Uh, when you subscribe, you'll get access through the bookmap.com slash portal. Uh, you'll get access to our educational course. It's uh, four parts. Uh, it, I really um, encourage you to uh, go through those four parts before coming to these webinars. It'll make a lot more sense. Uh, and what we do in these live analysis webinars, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday at 10 a.m., uh, is we go through live market analysis uh, that's based on that educational course. The intent is to train you uh, with the course uh, and then see it in the live market so you can apply it, what you've learned. Uh, you can ask questions. Uh, we will go through different trading strategies uh, and we will go through trade management, but it is not the uh, impetus of the course. It is to understand it and apply what you've learned uh, from, the, uh, from the educational course uh, in the live market and consider all sorts of different trading strategies. Bookmap is a platform. It's not a trading strategy. Uh, so uh, all sorts of different ways to trade. So what do we do after that? We offer live trading room with JTrader, a stocks trader, on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. and Scott Pulsini, a futures trader, on Thursdays at 10 a.m. This is the complete education that you get. So now you have a couple of different uh, excellent traders. Learn from them, their setups. Uh, their way of managing trades. Uh, it will be live trading. It is in demo paper trading mode though, uh, so that uh, uh, you can learn the process instead of try to follow the trader. That is not the goal whatsoever. Uh, it is to uh, learn about the different ways of trading. Then go back and study it yourself. See if this is something that works for you. Uh, you're going to have a, a much more solid trading plan if you do something like that and we really encourage you all right let's go through some disclosures and we'll jump into the live market uh, general disclosure all bookmap limited materials information and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations risk disclosure trading futures equities and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results We'll uh, bypass the hypothetical performance disclosure. You can read that if you like. Uh, this is more about automated trading, though, so um, uh, we're not going to be doing anything like that. All right. Uh, let's see a little bit of a review. Um, a few different things I, I want to show you guys uh, on our YouTube channel and our um, uh, Twitter channel here. Uh, you know, we've, we've been looking at uh, some, some really large iceberg orders uh, last week, uh, and uh, we did see some follow through uh, to the upside, but it, you know, not the kind of follow through we were looking for. Uh, looking for a really big follow through, uh, and we have not gotten that yet. 
so it's very curious. Uh, you know, 14,000 uh, or so icebergs. This was on, uh, uh, what day was this? This was back on January 6th, is that right? Uh, and um, uh, let me double check that. Yeah, on the 6th. Uh, and then we also saw on Friday some, some large iceberg order transactions. So we're going to continue to look for those. Uh, but we just want to be aware uh, and watch and uh, see and understand what is who is getting filled. Uh, larger players using iceberg orders, they can have it go against them multiple days. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, they're positioned uh, and their positions are much, much bigger. Uh, and they're looking for, you know, the, that market to turn around at some point. So uh, anyway, we, um, uh, yeah, really curious. I mean, this looks like uh, just such a massive spoof at the close. Uh, and it uh, really didn't go much higher. I mean, it went up to about this 4705 here. Uh, that was about it. Um, anyway, uh, something to continue, we'll continue to look for. But the point here is icebergs are great. It's amazing transparency. Uh, we're order flow rules, though. Uh, the order flow is the most important part. This is a confluence uh, to add to your order flow analysis. Uh, let's also take a look at our YouTube channel. I kind of arranged things a little bit in here. Uh, and I added the recordings. Uh, you guys have been asking about the recordings, uh, so I've been. We had it as a li um, a link. I need you needed the link. Well, I, I put them on our YouTube home homepage here now. Okay, so uh, just scroll down a little bit. You have the intro videos. You have the Pro Trader webinar series, selected webinars, features and components, order flow education, recordings of live streaming daily uh, Discord webinars. That's where you'll find them. So this was Fridays. Uh, and we have like nine nine videos in here so far, okay? All right, so that's that. Uh, connecting to data providers underneath that, and then if you speak Portuguese and you want to follow Santo Trader, some excellent videos in here uh, for the Brazilian market. Okay, let's see here. Uh, looking at Bitcoin as well, uh, big drop in Bitcoin. Uh, this is bookmap data here. It's a, a multi-book. So you're looking at um, uh, five different uh, exchanges here, you're looking at Bitstamp, Binance, FTX, GDAX, and Kraken, all within one symbol here. Okay, so it's a, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, a synthetic uh, instrument here. Uh, it's uh, with five different exchanges to give you a much, much more kind of clearer picture of really what's going on since, you know, there are multiple exchanges uh, within uh, Bitcoin and you know all, all the different cryptocurrencies uh, all right so you can see like a, a kind of a potential reversal taking place here in fact uh, in Bitcoin this is classic classic stuff now we need to see if there's follow throughs to the upside but I just want to cover this here because it's right in front of us M markets moving down it's trading into high liquidity here trading into high liquidity here here uh, and trading into and through all these all these areas with you know large large volume here uh, and uh, it comes back down into this area here, just shy of large liquidity that had been in the book here, uh, around 39,500. And we see the buyers snap it up pretty quickly. Now, they're above all this selling here. Okay, so uh, this uh, index is accepting so far. So we need to see some more buyers start to come in here. Even though, look, look at the massive selling in here. It's about the market structure. Okay, if there's massive selling in here, it could be a lot of stops being triggered, a lot of liquidations, uh, but the buyers are above that area. If they're sellers and they're still in this market, they're going to be buyers up above it. So we want to kind of uh, keep an eye out for, uh, you know, this, this kind of critical level here around 40,400. Okay, 40,000 is down here, right, the figure. Uh, but uh, we're, we're above this area here, and we want to see if we remain above that area or not. And right now, I mean, we're above it, but we just don't see a lot of buy volume here at the moment uh, to be able to lift this. So anyway, let's let's jump over to the S&P E-mini and take a look. And this is selling off pretty hard. Uh, and uh, we, we also have the icebergs here. Um, just, to, just to note, um, you, you know, the... Um, uh, icebergs starting to kind of ramp up a little bit as you guys, you guys can see over 4,000. Um, it's not bad, uh, but uh, you know, order flow rules. So we're still dropping. Uh, 
Uh, and uh, let's see where we might go here. Okay, all markets are selling off. Yeah, I mean, there's liquidity down in this area here. Uh, what is this? Around um, uh, 45, 75 or 77, somewhere around there. Uh, might be a, a nice little area for it to go to. Let's just start to look at some of the market structure. And we're going to start with the higher time frame analysis. Uh, and uh, just to kind of understand what's going on here. So we're going to look, look at our candlestick charts here. Uh, and uh, start to kind of uh, piece some things together. Okay, so here's our daily chart, uh, and uh, uh, the top that we, we're still in an uptrend uh, in this daily chart, okay, even though we're below some of these areas in here. If we just kind of, um, you know, take a look at more data in here. Boy, even more than that. Um, Let's look at a weekly, I guess. Eesh. Well, we want to go back a lot further than that. Yeah, I mean, here's our weekly chart. And uh, now this is, uh, uh, you can see the bounce here off of uh, just same, same ideas in structure here. Uh, and, you know, here, here's the uptrend, the pullback, the breakout, the pullback to where it broke out from now multiple times here. Okay, here, here, and here. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and, you know, it, it still broke out to, to all-time highs here. So this is, uh, you know, a pretty pretty big move to the downside last week and this week starting off also already pretty, pretty strong move to the downside. Okay, but uh, we're going to start to look at areas in here. Uh, and um, look for order flow to continue to the downside until we see something different. Okay, so let's take a look here at our daily bars uh, and our look back period. Okay, all right. And we can start to draw up some trend lines in here and just, you know, where, where might we go uh, is kind of what we're looking for. Uh, and, um, Boy, I'm not very good at using this platform, but uh, just a minute. Drawings, annotations. And where is it? Trend line. Okay. Yeah, we're already below this trend line here. on the daily. No, I, I take that back. We're just kind of testing it right now. Okay, we're still in an uptrend though, right? There's there's no question about it. Uh, these are some pretty big candles and, and there's some pretty big back and forth in here. Uh, it looks a little different than it did uh, back, back in October here, uh, September, October. Uh, you know, some pretty big down days here, but it didn't really drop too much. Um, you know, we saw some big rises and some big, big drops in these areas here. Uh, since uh, December or so, even kind of end of November. Uh, so, you know, we're still looking for this to kind of test into these lower areas here. Uh, let's let's kind of jump into the uh, hourly and see what's going on. We, you know, could also draw up another uh, trend line in here. And we're just going to just kind of keep um, an eye out of uh, where, uh, you know, price might be going here. Okay. Some of the uh, market structure that we're talking about here. Okay. So, you know, somewhere around it here, we're going to find some people taking some profit on the um, uh, sell side. Uh, and we're going to see some, maybe some buyers start to come in uh, if it's a deal down here. Now, that's the trend line, but look at the horizontal line in here. Okay, this is where we found buyers before, here and here. Okay, also down here. So there's kind of a whole zone in here where we found buyers. We're looking for the, that area as well, okay, to... Uh, uh, look for our buyers around uh, those areas. My God, let me get back to drawing here and rectangle. There we go. Transparent. Somewhere around in here. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll uh, uh, come back and, uh, and take a look at this area in here. Um, I mean, we're just kind of coming down toward it right now. 
All right, so and we'll go with the trend until we see something different. Uh, that's the daily. Let's take a look at the hourly and, and maybe the 15 minute as well. So what we're doing for order flow is starting to get bigger picture structure. Uh, we want to understand that bigger picture uh, and, and what is going on in the order flow in that bigger picture. So here's uh, uh, last week, uh, you see the move to the downside. We were looking for those pullbacks. Uh, we got a few of them, but then uh, you can see the continuation here. And this is a, this is a bearish structure in here. Uh, it, you know, a big red bar, buyers in the wicks, they, they are at kind of lower lower highs in here. Uh, and then you can see the gap here uh, from, uh, from Sunday. Okay, to, to where we started here uh, in the hourly, and we're moving to the downside. And we're still moving to the downside, even on the 15 minute here. Okay, so uh, yeah, we want to, uh, let's add some more in here. More bars. Not 20, 200. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't help too much. Um, all right. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, the daily is actually helping us out the most here. Uh, it's this area in here we want it, we're kind of looking for. All right, and it's a pretty big zone. Uh, it's like uh, around 45.50 is, is kind of the uh, top of the area here uh, to current price right now, which is uh, 40, 45.81, is that right? Let's take a look here 40 yeah 4581 okay so anyway uh, just uh, kind of marking up our bigger picture here uh, getting a feel for uh, what's, what's going on in the bigger picture All right now let's just zoom in and start to look at the order flow here uh, a lot of liquidity in here a lot of it pulled uh, as you can see uh, some of it traded uh, definitely traded in some of these areas here uh, after 930 cash open okay so they are getting filled Right here, in here, here, also here, uh, and um, okay, yeah, trend is still still to the downside. Uh, here's our little double bottom pattern here. We're starting to see buyers come in, so let's see. If, we already made an equal high here, okay. So let's see if they can come back up and make another equal high here at 45.88. I'd be looking for that, and maybe they can even break it up into this liquidity here at 45.90 and 91. Okay, that would be the uh, uh, just a, a kind of a pullback move here uh, at the moment. I mean, because we made three equal highs here, or slightly higher highs, in fact. Uh, but uh, it still made a lower low here. All right. So let's see if we can come back and make another equal high here. Okay. Pull back to these buyers in here. Uh, order book is showing quite a bit of supply here on the offer. Let's see if we can get our buyers right here where they moved it above, looking for the pullback to this area here at 86 and a half. No. Okay, next area would be 82 and a half. Okay, where they broke out from in terms of the structure here. Okay, let's see if we get our buyers in here, right here, right now. Here they come, All right back up to 86 and a half. Okay, and then we're looking for a higher liquidity, 88 and a half, or uh, this 90 they pulled, and but they're uh, still up here at this 91 and a quarter. Here they come. Still looking for 86 and a half, one tick away from it.
Any any questions? Any questions about uh, what we're covering here? We started kind of from that higher time frame. And you can see, I mean, we're building out the profile here uh, as well. I'm just looking for a kind of a move back up to like um, 86 here where it, it basically has done it twice um, already. I mean, it was just one tick away here. Yeah, we can see sellers coming in. So I think they're going to try to drive it a little bit lower here to 82 and a half. Yeah, here they go. Yeah, it just, it just couldn't make it here, uh, but uh, it still may. We're just looking for the move back down to 82 and a half first. Yeah, if it could do it here, we really got to see some big buying here. Green dots at, yeah, at, at this 85. There we go. Okay, so now it's up there at 86 and a half. All right, let's see if they can continue. Still looking for them. To, to break up into 88 and a half, and then 90, and then 91 and a quarter. Okay, we're, what we're looking for is, again, really simple here. Order flow within the structure. Okay, we started to note, like, yeah, we're in a downtrend, no question for today. Uh, and uh, looking at these areas here, we're still making lower lows here, but we're starting to make kind of equal highs here. Okay, we just made one lower high here, um, so was, that's kind of curious. But these three were equal, even slightly higher highs uh, in these areas here. All right, so here we are, we're up at our 88 and a half, still looking for them to squeeze it on up into 90 and 91 here. Okay, there's our 90. Still looking for higher. Really, I really like 91 here, 91 and a quarter. This is where it dropped from, and you can see it very clearly in the structure, and that's where the liquidity is as well. Uh, let's see, trade the volume. You have a question. Um, maximum of 300 per iceberg. Uh, let's see here. So this is what you're talking about here. And let's see, guys, if we made it back up there. We made it to 90, so that's about it so far. Uh, I'll have to take a deeper look into this. Not sure. I mean, it says maximum quantity three, three thousand right here. Um, well, maybe for one iceberg uh, order. Maybe I, I, I don't know. Uh, this is something for. Um, I'll take a look into though. Yeah, I mean, we we see like uh, even if even if it is true. Um, you know, when we're kind of zooming out, we're aggregating these icebergs together. Uh, where we see like, you know, for that 14,000, for example, it's not one for 14,000. All right. On our, on our Twitter handle here, uh, it was, uh, you know, that this was a zoomed out kind of version uh, or a view here. Uh, and um, open this up in a new tab. Yeah. And, and you know, there's several in here. Uh, and when you zoom out, though, it kind of compresses it into something like this. All right, so I don't know if that is the question you're you're getting at, um, but uh, um, yeah, perhaps perhaps that's a limitation from the CME for the native iceberg. Now, synthetic icebergs, you know, which the, our MBO data is not um, showing you that we're not showing you the synthetic icebergs, which means these are icebergs that are not from the CME exchange um, as an order type. They are off or maybe co-located to the exchange and it's an algo uh, like from let's say TT for example they offer iceberg orders so you can set an order in there uh, and co-located uh, the CME and and uh, uh, get filled with an iceberg order um, it's not going to be from the order type of CME 
from the CME. So uh, MBO data cannot read those synthetic ones. Okay, just just the um, uh, native uh, icebergs uh, to the CME. And yeah, maybe that is the limitation. Uh, I I don't know. Yeah, I'll have to uh, I'll have to get back to you on that. Yeah, but you'll see, like, uh, you know, if we if we kind of zoom out here, you'll see, like, um, well, at a certain point here, th this will be more than three thousand in here. Uh, if if there were more in this area, but that's this just not the truth. The truth is that there are many in here. Um, actually, there's one for two thousand here, right? So that that's uh, uh, that is that's fact. Okay, and then you have another one for tw uh, two hundred twenty-two. You have some on the other side here. Uh, on the offer as well. Okay, so what did we get up to? We got up to about 90. That's about it. Uh, that is an equal high here. Uh, I thought we'd be able to squeeze above it here, uh, but nothing nothing shaken so far. It might have just, you know, no, I'm sorry. It did go just above it here, uh, and that was about it. Did, it. did it trade 90? Looks like it did. It even traded 90. Very few. Well, not so few. 734 traded at 90. Okay. So anyway, uh, they're still trying here. As you can see, buyers coming back in. Okay. It looks pretty good too. Uh, they need to kind of pick it up a little bit. I, I always like, we always like the move that uh, uh, if they can kind of get below some of the swings here and then come charging again after stopping everybody out, uh, and then and then we get the move uh, we're looking for. You know, it's trying, it's trying, it's trying. It can't make it. Um, you see the stop out, and then you see the green dots come in, and they they really lift it quickly. Okay, so right now we're just right in the middle of our profile here, point of control, and they're supporting it though. So this is something to look at. See how they're supporting it here at 85. Okay, we have we have orders here uh, in the order book. Limit, limit buy orders. And here we go. Now we're looking for a move 80 or 91. Okay, and we don't know after 91. Okay, we're, we're looking for, I think we, sh we should get a continuation, but this is kind of a important structural area here. Uh, and here it is, right, right here, and then right here. So are we going to break out from that? Well, we really need to see the buyers pick it up here. If they do, we should get right up to this liquidity here at 95. Okay, and then also uh, 4,600. I mean, this is where it dropped from here. Yeah, it looks good. I think they're going to go for it, 95. Uh, I don't see stops yet triggered. But boy, we should pretty soon. And there's a lot of people that are short in this area, I think. Now, any any questions about this read? Okay, again, we're looking at, we're going to start off very simply here. I think, uh, I don't know if Vince is in here today. Vince, I want to reach out to you. So uh, you um, uh, let me know if you're in here. Um, I can take a look as well. No, I don't see him. Um, yeah, just, uh, uh, you know, he was talking about market structure. Uh, and uh, it was just really nice that, you know, he said, uh, uh, once you start to see it, you really can't help yourself any longer. The market structure is such an important part. Just just think about it. Like, um, let's just take a big step back. Uh if you're talking about head and shoulder patterns, double bottom patterns, um, you know, sideways consolidation it could be any sort of, we're just going to talk about simple patterns first. We've all read the books, like, you know, how to trade, uh, you know, break of the neckline and the head and shoulders, you know, you get in, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's not really the um, important uh, part. What makes up that structure is what's important. And why these structures exist? Like this is a reverse head and shoulders here. Okay, why does this structure exist? What is the order flow within that structure? And then we can start to look at that order flow in the structure, and then start to uh, um, give insight to these moves unfolding, right? So because we can read it, we can read the order flow within that structure. That's it. So we got to start with the structure. 
understand the structure here uh, and then uh, put these pieces together uh, and read it read this and then well if we're looking for these things to unfold we know what this is going to look like and here it is it's unfolding okay still looking for them to squeeze this higher here okay, into our 95 liquidity up here 95 and a quarter kind of an odd it's this one's kind of an odd structure in fact because uh, I mean we got the liquidity here at 95 okay now now see how it did a double double top here okay and then we can start to look at this structure now too and we've seen this so many times this is this might be a failed uh, head and shoulders pattern here Okay, so we got our buyers. Look at the second leg, though, on this move up. And this is where you get the insight. We're looking for this kind of buying yet again in here. And this started a little bit here, but look up here. Okay, and then it just kind of, buyers kind of dried up here. Uh, we're not getting buyers at these higher areas here. Okay, now it's not a whole lot of selling to drive this lower here. And this is looking pretty good, though. The sellers are starting to come in here. So this is a move back to... Uh, value area okay back to just around this uh, 86 or 85 area here the the high volume nodes are here though okay back to value now this this pattern we see so many times uh, we, we used to look at it years ago in crude oil crude oil almost uh, uh, always had this kind of pattern you get your reversal pattern you get the first leg you get a pullback and then you you we look for that second leg and we're looking for continuation at that point uh, and um, uh, it doesn't it doesn't continue it, it can only make an equal high or some sort of kind of like you know uh, maybe a lower high on the second leg up here and you see the sellers come in and they're going to drive it back down and you'll get trend continuation okay so that's that's what's happening here in fact they're pulling here no 85 85 and a half actually traded Okay, so we're still looking at it. Yeah, now it broke that trend line here. Okay, did it break this one here? Not yet, but it looks like it wants to. Yeah. Okay, so this is kind of the last gasp for buyers if they're going to come in at this point. If they don't, sellers should be able to take this into low, lows of the day here for the cash session. All right, let's see it, sellers. Right here is where you need to do it. And then we hit 83, then 81, then 80. Boy, they sold down here, but they, they weren't able to move it. We have icebergs on the other side. I'm still looking for another move down to 85 here. And then, then con trend continuation. Okay, here's 86 has some liquidity there. We get insight from that. What's the, how's the market react to that liquidity there? Okay, if we get our sellers here, we should get a quick move down into this 83. On sellers right here looking for it hitting an iceberg still looking for it though another iceberg small ones All right, buyers took these guys on here at 84. 
Now, it, the event, this little event took place here. What's the reaction, though, to price after that event? Okay, well, I mean, we're above it, but we're kind of at the same level now, so we're not getting too much insight at the moment. Yeah, looking for some more sellers down below it here, if we can get it. No, buyers are still trying to go a little bit higher. We're getting buyers above it. Maybe they can take it back to 86. Yeah, there they go. All right, but that's about it, though. That's all I'm looking for right now. Let's see if we can get more sellers down here around 84 or a little bit below 84. And then we should get a nice move lower. Looking for the sellers here. Push it down to 84 and then maybe 81. Okay, we're at 84. Okay, let's see it. Let's see the move down to 81. Looking for it. No, that was it. Now, it makes sense. We're kind of bouncing here a little bit. We're going to get a little volatility in here. Look at the profile. Okay, this is rejection down here. Um, so uh, it looks like to me like some profit taking. It could be some new new players in here. But there are some new icebergs in here as well. I'm just looking for these sellers to try to explore this bottom edge here in the profile. So you'll note these these areas in here. You see, see how like, uh, I mean, this is what these profiles are telling us is there's a lot of trading in here and not much trading down here in the tail. Okay, so this is kind of a rejection uh, of price, uh, this this little area. And you, you'll get responsive buyers. They'll trade it, try to trade it right back into like 86 or maybe even the top of the range back up into 89. Okay, so let's see if they're, they're going to go for it here, it looks like. So one thing we can we can kind of glean from this here uh, and understand that, that move down into this 83, we're looking for 84 or 83 here. Uh, it did that, it's the bottom of this range. Uh, and consider taking some profit at that point. I mean, we're still kind of looking for them to explore this bottom bottom edge here. Right, it's a pretty thick edge here. So here come our sellers. So yeah, I'm looking for them. This is exactly what we're looking for in terms of selling. Okay, it's, they're, they're moving it and they're starting to move it on size. Okay, that's what it takes to kind of explore these areas here. Okay, makes sense. Or anyone have any questions on that? Again, we're starting to really, we're going over nuances in the order flow here. Uh, to understand like why these moves might unfold here, right? And that's what these webinars are all about, right? So here it is, we, are, we, we got the move lower here. We were looking for little pullbacks and nuances in that as well. Those unfolded, but then we're we're looking for this move to unfold to the downside and explore this area here. It's already happened. Okay, we're down at 78 right now. Okay, we're looking for just 80. In fact, uh, it's still pretty pretty strong here. So looking for 75 now. Okay, now we can we can go over some ways to. First off, let me know if you have any questions about this and, and starting to understand these areas. And what we're looking for in the order flow in these areas here, looking at profile or looking at our price patterns, they're the same thing. A profile is just another pattern as well. It's just a different way of looking at the data. You're looking at horizontal, uh, uh, you know, uh, accumulation of data. That's all it is. 
once you start to understand, or at least for me, put it this way, for me, what was so um, uh, crucial is not to just learn like, oh, well, you know, rejected here is a low volume node. You short it. You try to trade it back to a high volume node. Why, though? Why? And what does the order flow look like inside those areas? That's where the magic really kind of happens. Okay. And in our educational course, we start from understanding these like very basic market mechanics of understanding like, you know, uh, uh, the bid, the offer, the transactions of the aggressors on that bid and offer, book sweeps, moves to the upside. Like this is aggressors coming in, moving price away from an area down here. Okay. And then we can also look at liquidity in these areas here. Well, there's more demand down here and we don't even trade into it the best bid comes into it but not even one transaction in this area here okay so what does that mean we can put this together in an auction buyers are coming in sellers are not interested in this liquidity here are we getting more buyers in these areas in here yes i'd be looking for the move back up into this uh, uh 79 and three quarters did we get it yeah okay and that was it though and it, it actually kind of exhausted out up there. Yeah, so it didn't, actually it didn't even trade there. Uh, it just traded one tick below it. Okay. And then this is part of educational course part one. You know, starting to understand basic market mechanics. And, and it's, you know, uh, it's not so basic. Uh, a lot of traders... Uh, even veteran traders like uh, you know, trading for like 20 years and and they're very good traders uh, uh, with their, you know, trend lines or their moving averages or whatever it might be. But they still don't really understand what makes price move. Uh, and I just we just think that it can. You, be, you, you can optimize your trading even more by understanding that. Yeah, even this pullback in here, you know, makes sense. This is, look at all this, this is very low volume at that bottom edge. So a pullback to this 82 and a half makes pretty good sense. All right, if we get buyers in here, if we get buyers in here, all right. And uh, we're, we got a little bit here. We only got to these high volume nodes in, in here. And we're getting more sellers now. So it looks like they still want to explore the bottom edge here. All right. So looking for these sellers here. And let's see if they get. Now, if we don't get it and we get buyers. Yeah, I'm looking for the move right back up into this 80 and a quarter here. And it looks like that's what they're going to do. And maybe we can get back up into higher liquidity up in here and look at our profile 82 and a half. Okay. So we have to really kind of watch these little areas in here. Okay, do we get more buyers up here again? Let's let's take a look. If we do, we should get the move up into this this uh, liquidity up here, 81 to 82 and a half. There we go. There's our move. Okay. Now I would I would look for uh, a rejection here, okay, and a move right back down to uh, maybe 80 and a quarter. Okay, just a pullback to where it broke out from here. And there it is. All right. So now let's take a look. Is it going to build out this new profile or are we going to get even more buyers here to try to move it right back into this area here, 85 to uh, 86, right? Kind of high volume node up in here. Okay, I don't know right now. Okay, looking at it.
All right. Well, that's as far as we got. Okay. Let's take a look at not not so much at profiles here. Let's take a look at uh, uh, some of these patterns in here. Yeah. Looks we're down here. We're getting our sellers here. Let's see if we can get another move lower here. 75 liquidity just below it, but uh, I want to see it go further than that. Maybe 60, maybe 65. Icebergs are ramping up as well. 200, 200, 240. Okay, so we're still looking for ex exploration lower here. And the 70 area looks pretty good. Okay, we're already at 75. Stops being triggered. Okay, sellers, let's see it again. And let's see if we can get our move back down into 70. Now, let's also take a look at our, our, our higher time frame because we're in our zone now, right? Or are we? Let's take a look. No, not really. We need to get a little lower in our higher time frame zone in here. The same ideas uh, that we're looking at, uh, just on a much, much higher time frame. This is where there was buyers earlier. Okay, we're still in an uptrend. Now, we can also read the, the, the order flow in here. It, and it, you know, it's kind of wonky. I mean, you just look at kind of the speed of moves and candles and, and uh, uh, you know, you don't know exactly where the volume traded. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, you're not getting much out of your candlestick chart, but you, we can definitely get the edges and we can look at the wicks and we know that there's buying in here uh, in these areas. Yeah, so, you know, it, it's, it's trading around these trend lines here. Um, in fact, maybe we can get rid of the bigger trend line. It's broken that one. Make things just a little simpler here. All right, and that's not, not seeing much. I mean, yeah, higher time frame, we're just looking for it to still go lower here, basically. And we're getting a pullback right now. They got down to 75, and you guys can see what happened here. Yep, we're still in a downtrend. Okay, and again, like, uh, you know, I kind of cringe to draw up trend lines. It's, it's really market structure uh, that we're looking at. Okay. So in, in, in terms of market structure, we're, we're looking at a diagonal structure of value, you know, back and forth and value in that structure. It's the same as looking at your, your horizontal um, uh, structure. It's just a range. It's a range-bound activity. This is more kind of a range-bound activity within diagonals of, you know, value, overvalued, um, undervalued, etc., Now let's draw up a little bit more as well here. Okay, just sticking with the market structure. I mean, 
mean, heck, we've got structure over here as well. Okay, volume looks pretty good on the buy side here. You know, it's coming in. All right, so let's see them. We're going to get the move back to uh, this kind of 85, it looks like. Let's see if we can. We, we got some supply in here you got to get through first. But uh, uh, it looks like the buyers, I mean, you, you know, pretty strong volume and nice little strong move here. So our responsive buyers trading it back into value. And back into kind of 85 and 86 and a half or so, 87, I think. Yeah, here they come. Okay, so we kind of had to flip-flop a little bit down here. Uh, 75, and then and then uh, it came back in and was showing that higher time frame. And then came back in. It's like, okay, whoa, okay, we got some buyers coming in here. Um, and uh, looking for them to reach back to high volume node and the value area here. Okay, so that's looking at your, your volume profile. We can look at our patterns as well. Uh, and, um, well, the you know, trend line is being broken here on, on pretty high volume on the on the buy side. It's not bad. I'd be looking for it to fail, though. I mean, uh, I, I don't think it's enough. It looks like we'll probably go back down to this uh, 80, 45, 80 here. Minimum, uh, and may, maybe even down here at this little structural area down here. Uh, 40, or I'm sorry, 70, 75. Okay, so what are we going to look for up here? First, exhaustion on that uh, buy side. Sellers here. And let's see them drop it down into, well, 80 first, 78 next, 75 next after that. Okay, there's 80. Let's see it, sellers. 78 pulled, so we're looking for a little lower here. Uh, there's seven, 78 and three quarters. More than that, Let's see it. Okay, there's 78 and the swing here. And come on sellers, Let's see if you can get down to, I, I actually like this little area better to be honest, it's around 76. Uh, the liquidity is lower though at 75. Okay, that order flow starting to change here as well. They're adding more on the on the bid and look at the reaction. We get buyers. All right, let's take a look around too. Like, uh, look at some of the other markets uh, and see what's going on. We're breaking this longer term trend line for the day since 9.30 cash open. Okay, so we can adjust that one. We've broken it. And we're going to look at something else. 
Yeah. And that's start, that's starting to break now too. Yeah, we can take a look at crypto. Sure. Yeah, I, I, I started off looking at, at crypto. Um, but, uh, yeah, I wanted to see if we're going to get, uh, you know, we've come back to this 85 area, 87 area a few times now. Are we going to reject? We're going to get uh, some of those uh, sellers to come in here not responsive sellers but the uh, uh, impulsive um, impulsive sellers in here and move this away from that area not yet it just seems to be hovering around isn't it yeah this might be a good time to go go check out crypto let's jump over again this so what we're looking at here this is a book map data um, as I mentioned uh, when we first started is, is this is five different exchanges this is the multi book uh, product that we have uh, it just gives more insight than uh, if you look at, uh, you know, uh, one exchange. Uh, there's just so many exchanges and so much liquidity. So this is just giving you a more objective kind of overview. Uh, where we left off on this when we started was a big move down into high liquidity into these lower areas here. Uh, and then the move back up above it, though. And we drew in this line here about, around this uh, uh, 4,400 just just or 4,500 uh, here um, and uh, we're accepting above it so far we noted that but we're not accepting above on a ton of volume here right so it, it's still accepting though uh, and uh, uh, that's that's kind of where we left off and, and still kind of where it is not really seeing much here we kind of made an equal high here it traded into this liquidity at 41,200 and that was it. I mean, look at the way that this is accepting up above here. Uh, you know, a lot of volumes trading up there, um, but um, you know, it doesn't. It just doesn't look that convincing. So it, you know, we're talking about two different things here, and you you could talk about your TWAP and your VWAP. I mean, like you look at, look at your time uh, accepting up here. Uh, not not bad, right? Uh, and uh, uh, you know, as if it still can accept up here, this must be your kind of new value area. Oh, no, no, no worries. You came in a little late. Yeah, there's no, no problem. Uh, we're just looking at this, this zone here, though, and trying to kind of figure it out. What's going on? What's the order flow within the structure? Okay. So uh, this is kind of where we drop from here. Uh, and uh, you can see it right in this little area here. And that's that's when the, the high on the retest back here. Okay. And then this is where it dropped from here, but we're above it. Okay. So you can see the drop in here, right? And you can see even the, the bounces off of that area here. So this is the zone we're in right now. Okay, between this kind of 600 and, and um, uh, 41, 200 up here. Okay, here's some high liquidity on the offer. Let's see what the reaction is. Okay, looking for some sellers in here. Maybe around 900, then we should get a drop to 700, maybe back down to 500. Okay, there's. I'd love to see these sellers take these guys on at 960. See, this is just odd. I mean, there's it's selling up here. This is not really what we want to see. They can get squeezed so easily right back up into like this uh, uh, 41 150. Okay, we need to see the sellers down here. Okay, this is starting to look better. We should get our move now. 
Okay, so looking for bottom of the range here around 880, and then I want to see it move lower, uh, maybe 750 or 700 here. Yeah, I like this liquidity down here at 700. Again, we can also look at bottom of the range as well as a high volume node. So again, like looking at these different ways of, of, uh, of visualizing the data, also, you know, in different patterns, et cetera. So we've got multiple traders here, right? So a move down into here is kind of probable around this 8, 800 or, or 750 area here. You know, this is where we want to see the selling. Now just looking for them to drop it. Okay, we got a swing low. There's going to be traders like, you know, trailing their stops up underneath there. Uh, and then we've got, it's a high volume note. So these are responsive sellers trying to trade it back down here. Okay, back to a value area. Outside of value, back to value. Yeah, I, I, right now, I mean, I... I it's, uh, you're making a good point, like, um, yeah, breaking some of these areas, but, um, I mean, this is what we see so far, and, and, and uh, you know, don't, um, uh, don't forget, like, you know, this is uh, uh, the only time that we have during these webinars. So we're going to go through as many order flow uh, examples as we can, uh, you know, higher time frame, lower time frame, whatever, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Uh, but, uh, you know, we can't sit back and wait for the higher time frame move. we got to kind of cover stuff anyway. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, you can look at your higher time frame structure. You can start to line some of these things up uh, like this here. Maybe you're going to get a pullback to something like that. You can or pull back to 600 right here. There's also, a you know, kind of area where it kind of pulled back to already around this 200. Uh, and it's just trying to kind of figure itself out here. Yeah. Okay. Great. So what is it? Lex Lexit or something? Lex L L K. Anyway, it's kind of weird. Weird volume in here. I have to say, like uh, selling on the way up here like this. Yeah, this is odd. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like it. I'm, I want to see the selling down here. Okay, and then I thought we had the break uh, in, into the, into these lower areas here. We're not. We're seeing the selling up at the top, top edge here. Okay. Yeah, all right, X, Lex. Um, yeah, cumulative volume delta dropping too, selling, sell dots, sell bars. But we just made a slightly higher high here, so it's kind of weird stuff. Let's jump back to that S&P. Okay, S&P made it up to its 90 level here. Look at that. So sorry I missed that. Let's see what happened here. Okay, it made it down to 75. That's it. And then it's been kind of back and forth in here. It's building out this huge uh, kind of um, uh, value area here for the day. Okay, as well as just, uh, you know, trying to get a trending move here, it looks like. It's trying. Uh, it's breaking these other trend lines. We've adjusted it a couple times. All right, so we can get rid of those. Yeah, volume looks good in here. I like it. It's above this little structure as well. So let's see if they can make it back to uh, this kind of 95 level here, uh, or maybe even 600. Or 4,600, yeah. You know, and this this liquidity in here, 
the figure, of course. So, uh, yeah, like, I like it. Let's see it, though. They really got to pick it up here. Like, this is kind of, you know, critical level here. The, the volume looks good. They, they need to pick it up to, to break it here. And they want, and we want to pull away from this this whole uh, volume area here, and and to do that, you you need to it needs to be on pretty big volume. And let's see the move to ninety two and a half. And the swing's up here around 95. Uh, how do the other markets look? Let's look at that. We haven't looked at the other markets here. Uh, this is another, like, just such a such a uh, powerful confluence. Let's look at some other markets. What is the value of these areas or uh, these instruments? Uh, in in uh, in contrast or comparison, but we haven't looked at Nasdaq in quite a while. We used to look at this was our primary market to go to. Yeah, it's kind of struggling here. What about the Russell? Russell's probably. No, oh, Russell is not up. Not up. All right, let's see if the Russell can do it. Let's see if they can it can lead the way here and break this on up. And let's jump back to our S and P. Yeah, our S and P made it to that ninety-two and a half. Still looking for it higher here. 95 looking for some stops looking for a short squeeze uh like i like 4600 okay let's just take a step back here now you know uh and, and look at the volume and, and and within the structure again same ideas here okay just just looking for the move to 95 right now so you know they're pulling it away here on on volume and how are they pulling it away? Like pretty big volume dots in here. Okay, but uh, th these moves are not so strong. So they may, it may pick up and it may like stream right up into 4,600 really quickly here. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, we've almost got, you know, we've got all sorts of icebergs getting filled along the way. Uh, but uh, yeah, just, just, just to move uh, to our 95, you know, I would be taking some profit there. Uh, and uh, and trying to let the rest run. Okay, there's our 95. Okay, it's up to 96, 96 and a half. So let's see if we can get up to 4,600. Okay, so everything's looking pretty good, pretty good. Okay, we should see some squeezes here too. I'm I'm not. Stops are not being triggered here. That means sellers are still in it. Maybe we need to get it back up above like this kind of 4602 and a half in that swing. Now we can also take a look at this here and look look at our, our bigger uh, picture. Okay, even even with this downtrend here, you know, we're, we're seeing, see it curl around here. We're looking for, you know, it, it being slowed down by the liquidity. Uh, and then um, uh, the, the volume within these structures. Uh, and then uh, now we're starting, to see, you can see it. I mean, like, yeah, it's, it's not bad, you know, looking for this move back up into the 4,600. It might even come back up into uh, this 4,610. Uh, and we'll, we'll have to see, like, uh, if this down structure is going to uh, uh, hold or not here. Okay, we're at 98 right now, okay, on a big volume dot. Okay, great. Let's see it can continue then. It's leaving away from this area here. Okay, on on volume, on size. So we're looking for that to continue. If it cannot continue, we look for it to return back to it here, right back to our 85 level. 
okay right back to where it broke out from here around 86 and our structural level also a pullback to this little area where it just broke out from at 92 and a half anyway guys uh, just keep in mind uh, keep keep looking at uh, the structure first and then understanding the volume and the liquidity context within that structure. Okay, up at the top ends, bottom ends, even in the middle. Uh, you'll see like uh, when price is going to move away from uh, a high volume node or like, you know, an, a value area, it, it will move on, on size. To drive it away from, from, the, um, from the middle. All right, so uh, no other questions. Then uh, let's wrap it up. We've been going for about an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, saw lots of different moves in here. Uh, just a few notes um, that uh, made earlier. Uh, yeah, still looking for this. Uh, very curious about this um, icebergs that we saw on the 6th. Uh, and um, also on Friday, uh, which was the what seventh I guess yeah uh, and uh, let's see if we can can, can uh, get above those areas and wh what are those areas let me take a quick look here for or 4720 or so yeah something like that um, 4700 here that's where that big spoof was here at the close anyway just keeping it in mind uh, and um, uh, and then our YouTube channel. So uh, all of the, um, uh, hey, hey, Tom, uh, nice to see you in here. Um, uh, Tom will be having his own room here soon, uh, everybody. So uh, uh, you know, Tom's uh, uh, taking a, a nice vacation uh, for the holidays here, and we'll be back here soon. Uh, and uh, he'll be streaming. Okay, it'll, it'll be a little different than these webinars. Um, uh, Tom will just kind of like uh, be in there all day long. And uh, when something pops up, uh, he'll go, he'll co he'll cover it. He'll go over it. Uh, it's going to be a real treat, real treat for you guys. Uh, you know, I think um, uh, uh, so much learning uh, to take place. Like uh, uh, you know, uh, covering the live live markets all, all day. Uh, we can't really do that with the webinars. So what we try to do instead is cover smaller moves, bigger moves, you know, lower time frame moves. <laughs> you know, micro moves, uh, different markets, uh, you know, whatever we can get our hands on uh, to read the order flow with, and context within the structure uh, and then uh, and then take it from there. OK, so, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, and uh, Tom's been doing a great job, as you guys know, in that futures room. So, uh, uh, yeah, he'll be he'll be he'll be here soon. All right. Um, the uh, oh, I just wanted to show you the uh, YouTube channel. A uh, little bit of changes in here. It might change again. Okay, I just did it very, very quickly, so I, I need to kind of bounce it off the team here. Uh, but I just did it for the heck of it here. Uh, Pro Trader webinars are now moved up underneath the bookmap intro videos. Okay, on, the, on these playlists. Then there are that under that we have selected webinars, then features and components, then order flow education, um, uh, and then we have the recordings of the streaming. Uh, daily discord webinars here okay so there's nine in here so far so um yeah we've been doing it you know a couple of weeks so far all right uh, i'll upload today's uh in a little bit so look for it in here uh and it's right on our youtube channel okay all right let's uh let's wrap it up thanks for coming everybody we'll do it again tomorrow morning at 10 uh and uh uh Yep. Then Wednesday we have J Trader. Thursday Scott Pulsini. It'll all be in here uh, in this Discord room. Uh, we're still trying it out. I know some guys uh, really like it. Um, others don't. Uh, we need to kind of, you know, get a feel for it here about the webinars. Okay. The streaming though with Tom, that's going to be something very different. Like I said, he's going to be popping in and out when things are happening. Uh, so uh, really, uh, uh, you know, should be really uh, elevated. Uh, uh, education for everybody here okay yeah all right guys thanks every thanks everyone and uh we'll catch up with you tomorrow same time